At the start of season three, Athelstan's outwardly Viking. He's obviously not without his conflicts, but I think he journeys to Wessex, wanting and needing to fit in with the pagan society. You were a monk at Lindisfarne, Athelstan, but you lived amongst the pagans. Tell me, what was it like? Lady Judith, you are a good Christian woman. How could I describe such things to you? Try me. Judith's fascinated by these Northmen, and I hear this story of Athelstan being crucified. And as a religious Christian woman, I'm just so intrigued. May I touch your hand? My hand? They told me you were crucified, and you still bear the stigmata of Christ. It's not true. Then why not show me your hand? I... It is true. On the surface, Judith's quite reserved and relatively obedient, but underneath, she's crying to make her own choices and live her own life. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have dreamed of lying naked beside a man who was not my husband. Who was this man you lay with? It was you, Athelstan. Be careful, Judith, who you choose to be fascinated by. It is true that the more complicated a person is, the more interesting he is, but at the same time, the more dangerous he is. And would you say that about yourself, father-in-law? Egbert's fascinated by Lagatha. She is a woman unlike any woman he has ever seen. Shield madden, wig and a whiff, earthling, moda, Hales. King Egbert is a very powerful man, and Lagertha is enamored by him. If anything, a, a little bit of an awe because she hasn't seen a man with that much power and knowledge. Iak al Athra give hunter the Lagertha. Man. She's stunningly beautiful. She's sexually potent in a way that I don't think he's seen other Saxon women. So he's fascinated by her. She's a creature that he has never seen before, and he wants to conquer that sexually. And I think the sexual tension is very powerful between them. And I think Egbert is exploring unknown territory and finding out what's there.